Hello guys and today we are actually playing a good deck. So uh, as I mentioned before a few times, this card package got better. So any deck that requires a, lit a lot of thinning got better for Skellige. And this is one of those decks. So Renfrey really wants to look for this uh, most important cards like so Fukusia Renfri. And this card package is helping it first to find those, second to get a good tempo in round one. So basically if you get uh, Coral, Virna, Renfri's Gank in round one, it's gonna be so good and you're gonna have so many uh, points and you're gonna have so much tempo that it's gonna be easier for you to catch up with, uh, with your opponent. And then you have a finisher, it, you have a, a little bit of beasts, you have two squirrels, I think I'm, I'm actually gonna uh, change one squirrel but I'm, I will we'll look into that. Uh, yeah, I think I will change it into one seagull. Uh, and you have a little bit of beast synergy, a little bit of rain synergy, and a beautiful giant board. So uh, in general, it's a combination of beasts, rent free and discard package. And I know that uh, uh, one of my friends from the team Decode got to pro rank with this deck. So I thought I can give it a go. And yeah, let's see. I think this is gonna be a good deck, so I hope to see some wins. Okay, 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 okay. So that was the intro for the deck, and now of course the quick change into Shub, or no, into Tris. And the quick change of card back, of Iron Judgment. I just love this card back, and we can go. So yeah, I expect this deck to win some games, because uh, it's pretty solid. Decode always makes solid decks. Like if you watch my video from Wednesday, BJ makes crazy stuff. That sometimes works, sometimes not. Uh, but Decode is always making a, like a do good of meta decks. Similar to Mercer, I don't know if you watched a, lot, a bit of Mercer, but Mercer was always making like good of meta decks. And I think this is one of the cases as well of a good of meta deck. Let's see what we face against. Koan. Oh, another Skellige Enjoyer. I hate portals. Barber Surgeon. Oh my god. Sorry, my eye. Oh, they are going first. You actually want to go first with this with this card. <clears throat> okay. We we can get rid of a sausage sausage bear. Single is fine. I'm not sure about this single. I want, I'm thinking. Like I don't. I think two squirrel is an is an overkill. So if they have Coral, I'm gonna be kind of sad, because this is so much tempo. I might just give them something small. Go ahead. Oh, shit. At me, and see what uh, because if I... Uh, because I give them Bear, they, they can just go Coral and get like maximum value from it. But to be honest, I cannot really stop it, so I think it also might just not matter. Eh. Maybe it dies fast and I can get one from like Coral. Hmm. Yeah, see Coral here. Let's just hope they don't get uh, Birna as well in hand because I didn't get one. Yeah, this way my Savage Bear dies and I have a hope that I can get another one. Because if I would play Raging Bear, see, someone asked me why it matters to have Coral now back, and this is why it matters. It's 25 points out of nothing. It's so good now. I can even go for Gert. I can go to Seagull into Gert. Gert is a card that I really like. It's just a good mid-range card to, uh, for like, if you just slam for value. That bird flies when he hmm. 
Is there a way I actually... Kill all of the creatures? I think... I don't think so. Oh my god, are you kidding me? No one is playing Heim and Flamnica! Do I have to just pass now? I think I just pass now. Come on, no one is playing Flamnica! It was just a perfect Flamnica! No one is playing that card. Where's my rent free? By the way, my deck is, my hand is very good, but, but the problem is that I cannot really get value from it. And I need to mulligan. Do I really care about... Nah. Okay. Yeah, I have a very good hand. Hmm. Sounds like a... Commitment. Sounds like an overcommitment even. What do I play though? To be honest, I can play just Messenger of the Sea. The sea demands a price, and you shall pay it. If they play Kyle and Kadush just to pass, it's a waste. I doubt it would be the case. Well, now I c they can kill my Coral. Which is sad. Oh yeah, and they just kill my coral. Oh, that's fine. Might even be amusing. Well, because they just use Kyle Trolde on Bear Witcher Adept and just kill my coral. In theory, I can do focus, yeah. Oh my god! Like, what are my skirmishers? I'm not, I don't remember how soft works. For the, for each damaged enemy unit. Okay, I okay. They have to kill my coral. If you are not killing my, yeah. And do I want to use waste Fukusia? Mm, I don't think I want to. Because I also get an engine now. Oh my god, are you fucking... No swearing. I'm really unlucky with hits today. <laughs> At least my body will be big. But their big cards are gonna be big as well. So I can do Gert maybe. Can I wait one more turn? Maybe it was... I can. Maybe it wasn't good to do it yet. Oh, I want to... F yeah, I killed something. Because I have to play it next turn. Okay, okay, okay. The problem is my Geralt of Rivia is kind of Pepega. Pepega of Rivia. I still have Birna, I can still use Birna. The problem is I... Oh, maybe I can even discard Geralt. That could be kind of funny. That was pretty good for them. Okay, we play Birna. Can we discard... Oh my god! Do I actually do the insane thing and I just get rid of Geralt? Is this actually a play? Hmm. 
No, no, no. They're actually gonna have... They're gonna have a big Witchers. I think they're gonna have a big Witcher. No one is playing Wolfhead in. Should I have played around it? Damage an enemy unit and it's and units adjacent to it. I gave them literally the best value here. <laughs> Corrupted Flamnica is not big. One, two, three. It's only three points. So it's only seven. It's gonna be more next turn. Hey, I got a card advantage, which is nice. But I have both tourism skirmishers in the deck because the game is being annoying. <laughs> Come on, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, I want them now. Okay, that's good at least. The problem is. The problem is, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to kill the Raging Bear. Damage it for each damage. Boost the enemy units of twice by own power. Then damage it by one for each damaged enemy units. Yeah, the problem is I... The problem is that I might not be able to kill it. <laughs> That's a big problem. Well, I can just play it on range for 11 points, that's also fine. I will have Patrick Shoulder Fury. So I can deal one to it. That's something. Uh, that actually took two points from me, but gave me one from for Flamnica. They still have like reckless flurry. So oh, this is a, this is a little bit tilting me. Okay, we are slowly getting there, guys. We are slowly getting to a point. We actually want to put it on the range row. We want don't want to. We don't want it to die. The problem is we are giving them the value of Reckless Flurry, but it's fine. This is fine. The stratagems are probably the best. Yeah, stratagems are fine. Cooldown, whatever. Six damage. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe I can. Maybe I can actually kill the bear. It's gonna be Yolo, but I mean, I'm actually be able to kill the bear because now it's uh, at four. It's not targeted damage, but it's something. Why you are playing Ger Geralt of Rivia? I am playing Geralt of Rivia. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be such a YOLO play if I... If I play it for the melee for a bear. And I hope that uh, this can kill it. Oh, come on, don't you play the... Witcher that boosts for each damaged unit. I'm waiting for it. Okay, this is gonna be... This is going to the range row. Fun fact is, I actually might get value from uh, Skirmishers. Okay, let's go. Yes, we got it! <laughs> hey, we actually got a lot of points in the end. And this poor get out of free guy is doing nothing. Okay, that just yes, yes, get out of Rivia to a rescue. I will actually find value from him. Let's go. Okay, we are not gonna bully my opponent though. Okay, this deck is actually pretty strong. It's definitely better than what I played on on Wednesday. So I think a lot of things did not go according to plan, and it still won a game. Let's try one more. I'm great. I'm great. Wait, why am I playing mirror? Yes, like on Wednesday, uh, like I played today, but on Wednesday you saw the video. 
When I play Nilfgaard against Nilfgaard, then Nilfgaard against Nilfgaard. Now we are playing Skellige against Skellige, and now it's Skellige versus Skellige. What is this? Are we expecting those to die? No. Mm, okay. Maybe this is not my day for drawing cards. And also being first. Let's start with this. We can play then a uh, little hvrv and yeah, this is, uh, I don't care about that. Ooh, wow. I'm actually gonna play a little hvrv in the range row. So maybe I can get some value from Messenger of the Sea. That's a very cute addition of Messenger of the Sea. It's like often it's gonna be like Eight, but it's fine, right? Hit this. That's actually not that good of Coral because I can transform this into points. Okay. Never mind. See? That's why this is so good to have Coral in round one. Oh my god, I will absolutely never get Coral. And now Birna, show me Birna. To show me that I never draw it, but you always do. Okay, this time it didn't work. <laughs> do we continue? Yeah, we can still continue, it's fine. Uh... Yeah, this is like the best. Pew pew pew, but then you summon them, right? Okay, I'm 33 points behind. I think I'm just gonna pass. So I'm gonna say goodbye to this round. Yeah, that's 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 why people were afraid of this card. Well, to be honest, this card didn't, that's not much of changes. It's just Coral. To be honest, okay, I take it back. It's not really Coral fault what happened here. Speaking of Coral, where are you? <laughs> oh, Birna I could use as well. I'm not gonna lie, I could use that card as well. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to do exactly the same thing, you know? That would be cool, like Coral into Birna on now new Opic Skirmishers. Okay, how many points we are? Eight. You can play this. It's a big waste, but. Oh, the problem is they are playing pirates. If they are playing scenario version, I think we are screwed. If we are, because I'm gonna create a lot of units that they can uh, get a lot of value from. Also, where is my freaking coral? <laughs> This is getting ridiculous. Okay, we have Coral. That's a good first step. Well, I can play this for immunity. I can put it even like a Raging Bear and hope that I can one day kill it, to be honest. Like now I do nothing to it, but it's fine. Because over the time I will do something against it. And I, this is sitting in like immunity. I mean, this is a YOLO play, of course. But I do believe I can kill it in very slow. Well, that wasn't... That's just minus eight. I mean, I know why my opponent did that, but I don't think that was a good play. Was it a good play? How many points? 16 point removal in theory, right? But I also like damage it to boost it by 16. So it's like a 8. Because now I can damage anything. So I think my opponent felt that they are smart. But I don't think this is, was a good play. I'm not sure. But I think it wasn't a good play. 
I'm just wondering, but I think this is not a good play. The problem is now I give them a lot of... Like, if, again, if it's the scenario version, I'm just dead. Because they can just value, value, value Cataclysm on everything, and then my immunity works. But I had to play it in the range, in melee row. What else I could have played? I could have played Coral for like, and ignore the damage, maybe. Maybe that was better. Or I could have just played Savage Bear, Sausage Bear, and just chill. And uh, then I lose the bleed value, but maybe it's better than losing those things. <coughs> okay. Can I kill it? Well, I can kill it in very, very slowly, like in three turns, which, like, when it's already got its value, I can kill it then. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna leap me? Maybe they are actually gonna leap me. No, they are actually gonna scenario me. So yeah, this is scenario less deck, scenario less version, but with this actually has scenario. <clears throat> I can actually Fukusia Heimei's card. But I have to play Rentry's Gang first though. Okay, I don't think we can win this game. Oh, because they're gonna soon get shit on of value. I will wait. And next time we're gonna go for rent free maybe. And try to fish something like Birna. Oh this is actually gonna purify Bjorn, so I actually gonna like, lose one bleed. But maybe funeral boat will die. Let's hope so. Are we a pirate? It's actually a pirate. I'm trying to... Okay, funeral boat is gone. Oh no! No, this actually can clog me. I don't want those seagulls. I don't want those seagulls. Okay, I'm gonna clog the range row so they cannot get value from this. Okay, new idea. Clog them. My new idea is clog them. Well, actually, I clogged myself. <laughs> I actually clogged myself. Play a bronze unit from your hand. No. Damage, yeah. That's actually not bad. Right? I think they're gonna unclog me, so it's fine. I need like one... Yeah, I think I should be fine with clog. Damage and units by 6. So I need to do this on free power unit. At least they cannot use crack, which is good. So I really don't want to kill anything on the range row. This is gonna be fine. Yeah, yeah, fine, because now I'm gonna unclog myself. I mean, they're gonna, they are gonna unclog me. I can use Gert to unclog them, but I really don't want to unclog them. Why would I want to unclog them? It feels like I'm talking about toilet, but I promise you I'm not talking about toilet. Do I just use my giant boar now? I can do giant boar here for 7 on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, or 11. Well, 11 sounds more tempting. I hope that my coral will die one day. So I can Fukusia it. At least they are not getting value from crack, which is a good thing. I mean, they are getting some value, but not like the value of value. They are getting, getting a different type of value. 
Okay, we just slammed this. Well, that was not as cool as I thought it would be. Can you kill my coral? So I can use Fukusia. Oh my god, this is gonna be huge. Oh, I want you to kill my coral. Not my boar. <laughs> so what do we do now? Well, I can use the giant boar again. And it's actually gonna be not bad. But then I have 4 power finisher, which is not the best finisher ever. But still, I have to play the card now. So I think we do this. I can do this, and I'm gonna deal 6 to this. And then I boost my seagull. But I have my secret finisher. Shit, my opponent realized that they can kill it, their units. Fuck. Of course, Corals. And look at this finisher. Pog finisher, let's go. Four point finisher. Oh no, armor soak the rain, no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Hey, it was actually pretty close. Uh, but I think we could have won that game if we were a tiny bit more lucky. So yeah, so that's it. I think this deck is pretty good. But I do believe I lacked a little bit of luck, but also I misplayed a little bit. So if you want to give it a go, Decode Mate is a brilliant deck as always. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.